Okay, so we've got another image sent in for us to edit, and this one's from Alexis. So fashion, portraits, wedding photography, based in Atlanta. So all of her details will be in the description for you guys to go give her a follow. So make sure you go do that, because we've got some pretty awesome images here, and this is the one we're gonna be working with today. So what I see is a lot of warm tones, and yeah, I really like this. Let's get into Lightroom, see what we can do, and make sure you go give her a follow. So, let's get into it. As you can see, we've got her image here from her Instagram and the unedited raw one here. So, the first thing we're going to do, it's kind of obvious, is really bring up the warmth. I'm going to bring it up to about there, quite a decent amount, and just a little bit of a purple tint. And coming down, I can tell this image has a lot of clarity just by sort of how crisp uh, the edges are and how shiny some things kind of look. So I'm going to really bring up the clarity before I work with the exposures because clarity very often brightens things. So on to, I'm going to bring up some highlights. Mainly looking at the shirt. We'll bring in some of those whites. And the shadows I'm going to bring up. And you guys have probably noticed the common pattern of always bringing up the shadows and bringing down those blacks. I'm going to bring them down quite a bit because I know I'm going to put a pretty decent fade with the curves. Yeah, it's looking alright. So when I do drop the blacks and lift the shadows, I'm looking at seeing what leaves are too dark to see. So I'm bringing it down, and when I think I see the same amount of leaves over here as in here, I'll stop. Kinda, that's what I do. <laughs> Alright, so tone curve, actually just drop the saturation. We're already looking all right. So, decent fade. Okay, so that's gonna be my tone curve done. And I think we're looking good so far. So I wanna add a bit more of a punch to all of these colors. So, I'm going to start with the luminance because we really want a good shine to some of these colors. So I'm going to leave greens all the way up. As you can see what yellow is doing. And the oranges even. Some reds, maybe, just affecting her lips. And I'm going to um, come up to the hue. And I want these greens to be a little more yellow. In other words, warm them up. and then desaturate them. But one thing you'll run into is the green and the yellows both affect the greens a lot. So I'm gonna bring the yellows down a lot because that also affects the greens. But as you can see, her pants are also very desaturated. So I think it's more the yellows. Because if we desaturated both, then we'd have nothing in our greens. And... Going to do a little bit of split toning. So... I can see a little bit of warmth in the whites, so that probably means 
some split turning. Just a little bit and then cool off the shadows a little. Okay, coming down, I'm going to put a bit of grain in there. And now I'm going to move on to filters. I want to place it just so it's covering your face and nothing else so don't put it on her shirt at all I just want to brighten it up a bit so a tiny bit of exposure and then really bring up these shadows and what you want to do is come back to our filter and de-feather it so get rid of the feather as you can see if I put a strong feather on, it's just affecting the middle of the circle, but we want to affect more of the face. So we're going to take the feather all the way down. And that's why you don't want any of it on a shirt, because then, then you'll see this quite obvious line. I might just take down the saturation a tad. I think that looks pretty similar. Right, so one other thing we couldn't get these greens any brighter because if we made them brighter then our shirt was going to be overexposed so what i'm going to do is grab a brush and as you can see over here we've brightened a few things so the highlights in her hair have been brightened a bit and the strap here so i'm also going to do that and brush some of these uh, leaves so going to brush away and then bracket key make it a little smaller I'm gonna brush on the bits I want a bit brighter so generally the highlights but I'm going to make the strap a bit brighter and all these highlights so we want to do things like bring up our whites or highlights, see what this does as you can see just making all those areas pop I think that might be enough might not need a mess with any others and if you're picky I think your hands a little overexposed there And yeah, I think we are about done, guys. Before, after. Pretty close. If you wanted to be more precise, you'd use a brush on her face, but I don't want to get too much into retouching. Yeah, 
the shadows a bit more. I'm just going to leave it there, guys. Before, after. Not too bad. So, make sure you go give her a follow. Her links will be in the description. And thanks for all the awesome feedback I'm getting on the presets. You guys seem to be really liking those. So, thank you to you guys. And yeah, comment down below who you guys want to see. I read all those comments and I go through them on Instagram, all the people you're suggesting. And it's, it really helps me, even though I don't have time to reply to you guys in the comments. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.